misinformation helpline how can i help you hey so i came across a post that was complaining that their presentation didn't get accepted for a conference because the organization just feels threatened by their services and they probably would have been accepted if people who were actually trained in that service were on the review boards but this is something that you've talked about before that we need to be cautious of being pseudoscience i see that is pretty common among pseudoscientists what do you mean well that is one of the key features of pseudoscience that it claims the scientific community is out to get them or against them and that's why they reject their claims that sounds almost exactly like what they said let's think about it if what they claim was truly as effective as they say it is, don't you think more scientific organizations would endorse it? True, they do show publishings and other conventions where they have presented though. Let me guess, these are for self-created journals with boards and peer review processes that are made of people that believe in it, and the conferences are very specific to the topic at hand. How did you know? Isn't it obvious? This is very typical of pseudoscience. If the claims were actually scientific, you would more likely see them in well-known journals. Did you know even pseudoscientific journals can appear super real? What? You're kidding. I wish I was. That's why we have to consider so much more than if our article was just published. Go back to the crap test to help you navigate determining the quality of the information. Oh, I will. I'm about to refer back to that right now. Thank you for clarifying. Ugh, I hate all the misconceptions, but it really does help the more I learn. No problem. And remember, we can continue to fight against misinformation and pseudoscience by being skeptical, slowing down our thinking, and asking questions. Till next time.